Imagine if you could turn a vertical video into a quality panorama image. How cool would that be? Now, super quickly, before we continue, I'll show you how to save money on your Lumina Neo and extension purchase. A few weeks ago, Skylum, who makes an AI-powered photo editor that is called Lumina Neo, released an extension to the app called Panorama Stitching. Skylum reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to cover this new feature. And as we all capture images or photos with our drones, this made perfectly sense. Let's take a look at the app. This is the primary interface of the Lumina Neo. On the left side, there's the catalog. In the center, it's sort of the content of the catalog. And on the right side, you can see all of your extensions. Extensions are these add-ons to Lumina Neo. And most of them are AI powered and focus on one specific thing. You can see the different ones installed here, such as HDR merge, focus stacking, upscale. That will help you upscale images from a lower to higher resolution. If the panorama is missing, there is an extra button up here that's actually called extras, where you can get an overview of all the extensions. If I scroll to the bottom here, you can see the panorama stitching feature. And if your purchase or subscription includes uh, these extensions, you will have the option to install it, or you can simply just purchase it directly through the button that is listed on top of uh, the Panorama Stitching card. So what is Panorama Stitching? This is exactly what you would expect. You take several photos with your camera or maybe your drone, make sure that they overlap, and then you can stitch all of them into a single image. This is the base functionality of Panorama Stitching. Let's use a selection of uh, raw images that I've captured with my DJI Mini Pro in a really nice location during the fall. You simply select all the images that you want to be part of your stitching and then you drag them into the panorama stitching extension. And here you have the option to scroll and see all the individual images that you have chosen. And another thing that you need to pay attention to is this little ring with the three dots. If you click on that one, you will have some options that might affect the quality of your stitching. And here you have some settings that will allow you to correct distortion. You will be able to remove a vignetting. You will be able to remove purple and green fringes along the edges of your photo, also known as chromatic aberration. It's definitely worth paying attention to these settings if your camera suffers from any of these issues. Sometimes you need to play around with these to get the best result. And for this example, I will keep the distortion correction enabled. When that is done, just click start. It took around 45 seconds to complete this process. Again, this depends on the power of your computer and these were full size DNGs or raw files captured in a 3x3 panel mode with my DJI Mini 3 Pro. Of course, this would go faster if you use the JPEG versions. But make sure that you don't mix because that is not allowed. Here's the primary interface for processing your panorama image. And what you see now is just a preview. The first thing that you will notice is on the bottom left, you have different perspective modes. The first one is the spherical one. Then there's a cylindrical one. There's one that's called Mikata. There's one that's called plane, and there's one that's called fisheye. If you click on them, you can see how it changes the perspective of the image. So for now, I'm going to stick with the default spherical option. So now you can click on the image to zoom in, or you can use the zoom slider, and then inspect the preview for any stitching imperfections. You can see the horizon is still bending a lot. We can correct this by simply dragging the image downwards here and in this way changing the perspective and in this way get a pretty straight horizon. You can even rotate the image so you make sure that it's not tilting. And when you're happy with this, you simply press continue. This selection will bring you into the crop mode. This is where you can control your composition and what needs to be in and what does not need to be in your composition. And you simply do that by adjusting the corners here on this square you can make it in the format that you want. But I would recommend under all circumstances to go for the maximum sort of the auto crop 
so you get the maximum sort of area of the footage and then cut it to the desired size later when you work with the final image. Then we press crop. And to get the final stitching done, we simply need to press save. It will process and it will jump back to the catalog view. So now you can continue to work with your image. You can maybe apply a preset. Let's just select one here. Scenery. Let's use the fast fix. Let's see. This is a fast fix, but it looks pretty nice, yeah? <laughs> or you can simply continue to the edit option where you have a ton of possibilities to modify your newly stitched panorama image. If this was the only feature that was included with the panorama stitching extension, I would probably not cover it as uh, we can do most of this directly inside uh, the software of our drones. But there are some additional features that are pretty cool and worth highlighting. Now, super quickly, before we continue, I will show you how to save money on your Lumina Neo and extension purchase. To do that, go to the checkout, check whatever product suits your needs, and then click on the checkout screen, and all you have to do is enter promotional code and type this code to get your discount. I teased you in the beginning of this video that you could take any video and turn it into a panorama image, and this is how you do it. Let's use the video from the location that we just saw before, where I'm panning the drone, trying to create an image of the front side of uh, the restaurant that is otherwise pretty difficult to do without some severe cropping. So let's try that. And it's the same procedure, but this time instead of images, I'm simply dragging the video clip into the panorama extension. All the options for correcting the footage are disabled, so you simply have to press start. On the timeline, you can now set a start and an end frame to define the left and the right side of the panorama. Note that this will sometimes fail with drone images, so make sure that there's not too much motion in the footage. So I think we will start the panorama around here. And we will finish it off maybe around here. Make sure custom object composition is disabled. We will get back to that feature a little bit later. Then we press continue. So that took around 20 to 25 seconds and look what we have here. How cool is that? If I zoom in, it actually looks really good. It's very hard to see any seams or imperfections. And this is done with a simple consumer level draw. So that is really, really impressive. And from here, the process is the same. We can play around with the different perspectives and try to fix any distortion issues that we want to get rid of. And when we're happy with that, we simply press continue. Adjust the cropping to your likings, and then you simply press crop. Then I will press continue and it will process and it will jump back to the catalog. And here you'll be able to see the final panorama image that you can further enhance with the Lumina Neo if you want to. This is one of the most remarkable features of this panorama extension. This is really cool and it also works if you choose a 916 recorded directly on your phone. How many times have you seriously pulled out your phone, started to film only to forget to take a photo? Now you can create that photo from the video that you have recorded. This is another example how to use the panorama stitching feature. But that's not it. The guys from Skylum have added another feature that will take it up a notch. You can clone yourself or any other object inside the panorama. In short, the process is the same. You just need to enable the custom object composition and that adds a new dimension to the timeline. You can now add as many custom objects as you want to your image. And it doesn't have to be super precise. When you click the blue marker below the timeline, you can see your different selections. When you're happy with this, you simply press continue and the image will render. So that took around 40 to 50 seconds to complete that task. You could argue this is more like a gimmick, but it is pretty cool and uh, quite different. So that's the new Panorama stitching extension for the Luminar Neo Photo Editor. 
And my hats off to the guys at Skylum for really rethinking the way that we are doing panorama images. And I gotta say that the Lumina Neo Photo Editor is quite <laughs> impressive too. I'm coming from Lightroom and I've been using that for many years, but I'm surprised of the ease of use and the functionality that you get as part of this package. Especially with the AI support, many tasks are getting a lot easier. Again, if you want to purchase the Lumina Neo or the Panorama Stitching Extension, then make sure that uh, you use this discount code as this will apply to your entire order. I will include additional information in the description below. All right, photo editing, is that something that you want to know more about? Then let me know in the comments below. Then I will consider making more videos around this topic and help you take your photo game to a completely new level. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give it a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you around.